your dreams appearing too big for my skin, unrealistic for where I was born, unconventional dreams I carry with me in my home. My skin is not a house, but I call it home. It's a traveler, diasporic, golden shining black. My skin has seen it all as you cross the Atlantic and knows pain, growth, revolution, harassment, racism, discrimination, but it also knows love, community, hustle, preservance, nature, kindness, and humility. But there's one thing my skin longs for, freedom. It has started to taste it, but it's always mixed with racial profiling, sugar-coated with structure, politics, covert racism that seems to bring you down when it starts to spread its wings, when it starts to have hopes and dreams, boxing it in a checklist of stereotypes that it constantly tries to but fails to meet, hence believes it's not worthy of being accepted as it is. It's tired of being a status it's except to just increase the diversity in numbers, required to fit certain characteristics, tick, 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 a check mark that fit the history of my skin into a box. But my true character lives in the in-between spaces. My true character has roots in beyond stereotypes. And as an immigrant, I might carry that box everyone seems to like. But as a traveler, I carry my heart that lives in the in-between spaces. I carry my home with all its history and tell my story, my truth, that no one else can write in a history book. So I also have a dream beyond the small empty boxes, waiting for me to check, check, check them. Be it a doctor, engineer, leader, actor, or a poet. And I do not seek to satisfy my skin's thirst for freedom by drinking from a cup of hatred and bitterness. Because darkness can't drive out darkness, only light can do that. 